Welcome back, my Sleeping AB family. So, we're gonna be opening up two of these new Paradox Destinies tins. There's four of them that came out. They were the, uh, <laughs> the two that you see in the thumbnail, but also the Iron Crown and Iron Boulder. I'll be opening up those in a different video. We're gonna be opening up Gouging Fire and Raging Bolt. We're gonna be opening up these two today and uh, seeing the contents inside, looking at these promos. Um, honestly, I expect the Raging Bolt to be one that a lot of people will go after, especially if you wanna play it. Since the card itself, my the actual EX is, a, I think, maybe a tad difficult to pull. Getting the promo, probably better. And the artwork looks awesome. So, out of these tens, you get five packs to Twilight Masquerade, Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift, and Obsidian Flames. They've been putting those in the sets a lot. I've seen fewer and fewer of the base set cards. Let's see. Or fewer and fewer of the base set packs. Fewer of Paldea Vault. They used to put Paldea Vault in a lot of stuff. But I think it'll end up being the same way with like Obsidian Flames. You're going to see it less, even though it's, there's a lot of good playable cards in there. There's all those so playable cards in Paldea Vault, but we shall see if it gets another reprint or something. Um, <laughs> but the City and Flames has good cards in it. I think some of the ones from Paldea Vault were reprinted, not all of them though. Let's see. Bronzor into a Thunderous. But Paradox Rift was the last set to come out in the first year of, of Sword and Shield. And I still see that on shelves. It's harder to find. Um, the other one I see a lot on shelves is, uh, or is Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces I see quite a bit as well. So. But we shall see. <laughs> De-Evolution, that is a good one. Toad Squirrel, Tandem Mouse into a Mouse Hold, or Tandem Mouse Evolved. So. This one I think can be like a funny kind of deck. <laughs> uh, in a way of, it, I think it's just more of a gimmick kind of deck. So if you have like Tandem Mouse and Mouse Hold on, or Mouse Hold EX on your uh, bench, <laughs> you can put three damage counters for each of them on your, uh, like if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, you put three damage counters for each of those mice. <laughs> on the attacking Pokemon, so. I was wondering if anyone was able to actually do that one. That was just seemed more like a fun kind of deck to me, so. All right, let's get into a Paradox Rift. I mean, Temporal Forces, right? Yeah. We just opened our Paradox Rift one. <laughs> I'm getting so scrambled. <laughs> Go Lurk, Licky Licky. Litten! Litten the kitten. We got a cute Litten here. This is one I think I had to trade for as well or purchase. I actually thought about doing a, a page of those at one point. Never could quite get them. <laughs> so I love the Bianca page we did instead. All right, into a Twilight Masquerade. There is one card my Kip and I need from this set and yeah, <laughs> one card, <laughs> and we, it's not in this pack. <laughs> if, if you had to guess, I'm sure you could guess what card it is. We've got every other card, <laughs> but this one, Water Type Starter, the Elusive Greninja, so. But hey, we got another 10. We can always see if we can pull them, so. Well, let's see, last one out of here. I, hey look, we got an 80. <laughs> I always think if you can get at least one pull out of these 10s, it's actually, actually makes it okay. But we got two, one of them was a Litten Illustration Runner, which is good, because 
illustration nerds, people really like. But yes, this is a very playable card. I, like I said, I anticipate other people, if they can't pull the Raging Bolt, they'll probably buy these tins to open the packs, but just to get that promo. I also expect because of that promo, the Raging Bolt to actually dip a little bit. Promos are easy to get. Pulling the actual EX is not as easy. All right, next one we have, my favorite, the Gouging Fire. I love Intei, it is my favorite legendary. So, <laughs> I absolutely love Gouging Fire. And if you see these Pokemon in Scarlet Violet, they're huge. Um, yeah, I really wanna do a comparison side by side with uh, an Intei, but I'm pretty sure Gouging Fire is gonna be much, much bigger than a regular Intei, so. <laughs> Haven't caught an Intei yet, but you can. Somewhere in us, in Scarlet Violet. All right, starting off with our Obsidian Flames pack. I think the pre-release I've had the most fun at was probably Obsidian Flames. The cards are just so playable. There's our Intei. <laughs> Intei, I think, being one of them that was playable, but this, it was really fun to play with those. If you got the right uh, pre-release promo, you could dominate. I think Toxtricity was probably uh, the really good one to get. Okay, on to Paradox Rift. Let's see. And funny enough, I think not getting hits out of either of Stadium Flames packs is weird. <laughs> uh, usually you have a good chance to get something out of Obsidian Flames, so... That's actually kind of surprising to me. Let's see. What else? All right. Um, <laughs> got distracted there for a second. <laughs> Oof. But uh, if you guys, I think this is the last we can do the Incineroar if you guys want to. My Kip and I just kind of decided to pass on it. I found us both shinies at one point, so we were good. We were good with that. <laughs> we got Relicanth into this pack. And then, let's see. That was still, one. still, and I'm also playing some Visions of Mana still too. I really like that game. And actually a thing recently came out is uh, Bunko Fusion. It's one I was definitely looking forward to. Uh, I wanna get a little bit further in Visions of Man before I play it, so. <laughs> but let's see, we got Puchiana, Darumaka, into a Chandelure. So nothing out of this tin. It usually happens, the one tin I actually am excited to open, the one version that I want to see with my favorite promo in it. The Pokemon I'm running more towards. I don't get anything out of, so. <laughs> oh well. Happens, definitely happens, but we are now to our last pack. <laughs> um, I hope there's something in this last pack. We will have to see. <laughs> Let's boop up Mudkip and Eevee. This won't be the last. You'll see of these sets. I will still be, uh, Trying to open some previous sets, I like seeing the other cards and any dupes. I definitely had to the trade binder, like putting the playable cards in there too. So we got Cramorant, Conkeldor, Sunflora. Okay, we did get a hit out of here. We got a nice illustration. I will say any illustration or pull is awesome. Because people really love the illustration rares. <laughs> and the Sunflora was one for Twilight Masquerade that we had also thought about putting as a page. I really wanted to do my Ogre Pond page though. It's all full art Ogre Ponds and they kind of zigzag in the binder. I want to show you guys the art page binder. It looks amazing. And uh, finally, I finally traded for the one that's going to start the page for Shroud of Fable. And uh, that one is actually Beware. I did a poll <laughs> not too long ago 
um, to see if people would rather, because it was a toss up. Mug Kip and I were kind of thought maybe the Q font would have been one, but there were more votes for the Beware. And I was like, stay with our original instinct, the Beware. <laughs> so I can't wait for that page of Bewares to be on there. All nine of them is gonna look awesome. <laughs> All of them staring at you. And uh, as for Stellar Crown, we haven't picked one just yet. If we are indecisive on one, we'll put up another poll, but we gotta look through them all, wait for the set to release, and see. So, <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I got a few hits, not a lot, but I didn't really, I always, out of these tins, I keep my expectations very low. So hopefully if you guys open these, you will have a better time. <laughs> And uh, if you did enjoy it, hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Cause I'm gonna be opening more Stellar Crown. <laughs> once I get, once it, I can get more packs, more releases, definitely be opening a booster box. I'm getting that from Geeked Orlando. So I'm excited for that. But uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. I am gonna open up the other two as well. So also stay tuned for that, but. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Put in those last minute entries into the giveaway for that Vaporeon slab. And uh, as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.